Hello everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. In this one we're gonna do something called a bit, and I don't know what the fuck a bit is, but this is what it is. It's basically a abstract geometry nodes render uh, that has a couple lessons in there. So let me show you how to make this thing. Um, it's gonna be a geometry nodes tutorial and also a shading tutorial. Let's get started. So, in geometry nodes, delete everything, start off with the thing, make a geometry nodes object. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a grid and I'm going to segment it because that's kind of what the bit uh, looks like. So starting off with the plane, I'm going to start off with a grid object. I'm going to expand it on the x-axis and I'm going to give it some geometry that we can actually split with. Kind of like a divorce. Okay, so here's our geometry. What I want to do now is I want to fragment it. And here's the idea behind fragmenting. If we scatter a bunch of points on this and say, hey, which chunk is closest to which point, then we've separated it into chunks, right? So if I distribute, by the way, I'm using 3.5 now. If you're not on 3.5, it's time to upgrade. But if we distribute some points and we say split these, and I'm also going to... um. By the way, we need to split the mesh, but I'm also going to uh, scale these elements so you can actually see what's going on here. So right now it's gonna kind of separate everything. If we split these based on a selection, then we've done it. That selection is gonna be related to the proximity to these points. So we have a bunch of points. We're saying, how close are we to these points? And I'm gonna run a bit of a math function we're going to say, where where is the distance equal to some value? So if I make the distance 0.5, and then I increase the threshold, you can see we've segmented this thing. We're saying uh, which edges are pretty much uh, the value of 0.5, and if so, split the edge. Notice that if we change the seed, we get different bits. Again, I don't know what the fuck a bit is, but I guess it's this. So you can see, uh, now we have this animating. Um, another thing we can do is uh, animate the density, which kind of is the f a number of fragments in some sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this through the time. I'm going to run it through a sine function because we want this to go from, what do we want it to go from? Zero to one, the density factor. So I'm going to do a sine function. I'm going to constrain it. I guess we could have done a ping pong function. But whatever. Uh, we're going to do a sine function. Between negative 1 and 1, map it to 0 to 1, connect it. And now we have this bit expanding, shrinking, and it's changing over time. So it looks like this kind of like fragmented thing. I recently saw Ian Hubert's Dynamo Dream. And when the UI kind of starts failing, uh, the hologram, it might look something like this, or one piece of it. Okay, so now we have the bits, but we also need to make the material for the bits. And uh, I was playing around with different materials. I kind of gravitated towards like a grid-like looking thing. So I'm setting a material, and for that material, here's what we are going to do. Don't need that BSDF. We're going to use a brick texture. Why, why brick texture? Why bricks? Uh, because, bring down the frequency, uh, because this is an easy way to get grids, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So uh, I'm going to change the row thing until it looks like squares, just like that. Increase the scale, and uh, you can see we have a grid now, and it looks kind of cool and chaotic. Uh, kind of a trick, I'm going to use texture coordinates and I'm going to offset them. So you can see I'm offsetting on the x-axis. I'm going to offset this not with like hash frame divided by 100, which would animate, animate it to the side because it kind of looks like a smooth motion instead of a chaotic motion. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the frame number, so that's what hash frame is, I'm going to divide it by 15. And then I'm going to take this, look at the ceiling function, so it's basically going to round up every 15 frames, and then offset that vector. So you can see now it's kind of like 
animating, maybe that's a bit too much, once every 23, 24 frames. So you can see it's nice and glitchy, and it changes in this kind of chaotic looking way. And basically, uh, this is what I rendered. Make the background black. Basically, this is what I rendered. So that is how you make a bit. Um, as always, Blend File is going to be available on Patreon. Link in the description. I'm waiting. <laughs> See ya.